was estimated that Archimedes was born in 287 BC in the Greek city-state of Syracuse on the island of Sicily. Little is known about his family other than his father's name was Phidas, who was an astronomer. Archimedes was reportedly related to Hiran II, king of Syracuse, and his son, Gilan. Not. Archimedes reportedly studied mathematics in a school in Alexandria, Egypt, that was established by the Greek mathematician Euclid. There was no clear indication of education, but there were documents that supported the fact that he had many friends in Alexandria, and he sent the results of his studies in mathematics to Alexandria with highly personal notes. After pursuing his studies, Archimedes went back to Syracuse to live in his native city. Archimedes' study and applications of mathematics led him to invent several useful materials, such as the compound pulley systems, the planetarium, and several war machines that were used in fighting and defending Syracuse from enemies. He also possibly invented the water organ and the water screw. More so, Archimedes not only studied existing literature involving mathematics, but he also initiated several fields of science, like static mechanics, hypnometer, and hydrostatics. He also did lots of work for mathematical physics and integral calculus. This earned him the title the father of mathematical physics and the father of integral calculus. He did lots of studies on the measurements of a circle, on the sand reconner, on floating bodies, on plane equilibriums, on Archimedes' cattle problem, on quadrature of the parabola, on conoids and spheroids, and spirals. One of the most important discoveries of Archimedes is the Archimedes principle, also known as the law of buoyancy. This method helped in determining the volume of an object with an irregular shape. The story behind the discovery holds that King Hiran II had supplied a goldsmith with pure gold to get a golden crown made for himself. But when Hiran II received the crown, he suspected the goldsmith had added some silver to it. So Hiran II called Archimedes to investigate. While taking his bath, Archimedes noticed that the amount of water that overflowed the bathtub when he stepped into it was equal to the portion of his body immersed in the bathtub. This gave him the idea that the same principle would apply to the crown and he could use the proportion of both silver and gold and weigh them in water. This discovery got Archimedes rushing out of the bathtub and into the streets shouting, Eureka! A Greek word meaning, I have found it. Archimedes' principle states that any kind of body which is immersed in any kind of fluid will experience an upward force that is equal to the weight that is displaced by the body. This upward force is referred to as buoyancy. Most of Archimedes' discovery were born out of the requirements of his hometown. For instance, at another time, King Hiran II gave Archimedes the task of designing a ship, Syracuse, that will be large enough to contain a large number of supplies and people, about 600, and could also be used as a naval warship. The king wanted Syracuse to have a gymnasium, a garden, and a temple. A ship of such huge proportions would leak a large amount of water through the hole, so Archimedes invented a screw to remove the bilge water. The screw Archimedes invented was a device with a revolving screw-shaped blade inside a cylinder. To date, the Archimedes screw design is still very important and is used to propel liquids and solids like grains. Archimedes also designed the Claw of Archimedes, which is also known as the Ship Shaker, to defend his hometown. The Ship Shaker comprised of a crane-like arm from which a large metal grappling hook was hung. When the claw was plunged onto an attacking ship, the arm would swing upwards, lifting the ship out of the water and perhaps causing it to sink. According to author Lucia, Archimedes destroyed several enemy ships with fire during the siege of Syracuse. This weapon was known as Archimedes Hit Ray, but also referred to as Burning Glasses by Anthemius of Tralis. This device focused sunlight onto approaching ships, causing the ships to catch fire. Though in later times, the credibility of this device was debated and the device was rejected as being false as Rene Descartes, modern scientists claimed that the device was possible. It was suggested that Archimedes might have used a large array of highly polished copper or bronze shields which acted as mirrors to focus sunlight onto a ship. Archimedes made several contributions to mathematics. 
He used infinitesimals like the modern-day integral calculus. He approximated the value of pi using the method of exhaustion. This method helped in mathematics to form integral calculus, which is an important aspect of today's mathematics. He was the one who proved that the area of a circle equals pi multiplied by the square of the radius of the circle, 2 pi r square. Achievement is also verified that the area encircled by a parabola and a straight line is 4 over 3 times the area of an equivalent inscribed triangle in the quadrature of the parabola. In his work on the equilibrium of planes, Achimides worked on levers and explained the work. Achimides reportedly designed the block and tack pulley system, which enabled sailors to lift heavy objects. He was also credited for working on the catapult and improving its power and accuracy. He also invented the odometer during the First Punic War. The hydrostatic balance invented by Galileo Galileo in 1586 for weighing metals in air and water was inspired by Achimides' work. Achimides also reportedly had several writings. Though none of his writing works survived, information about their existence was found in references made by other authors. His writing works were made in Doric Greek, Syracuse's local language. Byzantine Greek architect Isidore of Miletus was reportedly the first person to collect Achimides' writings in 530 AD. Eutychius wrote commentaries in the 6th century AD on Achimides' work, which helped to bring Achimides' work to the sphere of the common man. Thabit ibn Qura translated Achimides' writing into Arabic during 836 to 901 AD, and Gerard of Cremona translated Achimides' writing into Latin during 1114 to 1187 AD. The most well-known document that contains Achimides' work is the Achimides Palimpsest. Achimides reportedly died in 212 BC when he was shot by a soldier from the Roman army, which was invading Syracuse at the time. The soldier, unaware of whom Achimides was, unknowingly ended the life of one of the world's most brilliant minds, which the Roman Empire could have benefited from. His body was buried in a tomb and according to his wish, a sphere within a cylinder was carved on his tomb. He requested this because he believed his greatest achievement was discovering the formula for the volume of a sphere. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other interesting videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.